Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan the Softcore Brony, welcome you back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Now since last time I worked my way back here again, and I slightly re-equipped the party here with, uh, well, Mario's got his usual attire, and uh, Bowser has uh, the Jinx Belt and Gino with the safety ring. Now, if you don't have the, well, Jinx Belt or Attack Scarf at this point, then... Uh, I would pull in Mallow instead of Bowser and give him the work pants and the amulet uh, because the next boss is weak to ice, for one. And uh, then probably give Mario the safety badge or else the jump shoes if you don't care about status effects too much since, you know, Gino's got that covered. Uh, or, of course, you could just... Pull in Toadstool, give her the safety ring, and then you don't really need to worry about set us effects at all. So, uh, anyway, other thing you're gonna want, uh, preferably, are the Muku cookies. But uh, if not, you can have Freshen Ups and Able Juice as well. Those will, you know, work just fine. So, uh, anyway, the reason I'm not using Mallow as opposed to Bowser is because. Uh, we, since we have access to all these really high physical attack boosting accessories now, it kind of overshadows Mallow's magic attack for most of the rest of the game, uh, to a degree, so, yeah, ma yeah, even in including weakness, Bowser can still outmuscle Mallow's magic at this point. Thanks for the what? hey, hey, my water, mine! Alright, so, unlike... Uh, well, the other two piranha plants in the game. This one is not immune to jumps. And otherwise is weak to ice, which Mallow can do like 400 some odd points of damage to, but I don't care, because they don't have that much HP to begin with. Hi ho dee dum. And I'm going to start Geno boosting with Bowser. Uh, just in case I don't perfectly time this. <laughs> Because Bowser can do a pretty good amount of damage there. Oh, that was pretty good. Do it on... Darn it. I was hoping for Gino, but oh well. Let's see. Jump on you again. Or, on it. well, I guess it's kind of like again. But, anyway. la dee da Recycle water! R-E-C-Y-C-L-E recycle. Man, I haven't seen that in a long time. Anyway. Uh... Gina boost on Mario now, of course. Of course, if you have Power Blast, you don't need to worry about that at all. I mean, I wouldn't even really worry about defense in this particular battle, to be perfectly honest. It's not that difficult. Oh, that was good. Alright. Do it on Gino! Gino! Dang it. Why do you guys not like Bowser? Just because he has the lowest magic defense? Uh, well, let's see. Jump on you. Gina boost on yourself. Now, I want Bowser to defend on this turn because... Thank you. Uh, if I didn't, then after defeating this guy... la di da With these nutrients, all three of these guys would get an attack before Mario. So, yeah, that wouldn't be any good, and... Well, even though Mallow can do like 400 points of damage to the regular Smilaxes there, Mega Smilax, he can only do around 288 with the way I have him set up, uh, along with the work pants and amulet, of course. But, uh, no biggie, because... With the little guys, anyway. Skadoosh! Alright, now smack him around, please. Bam! And he'll counterattack, and then he'll always open up his first turn with Petal Blast, which will turn the party into mushrooms! Except for Gino, because he's got, uh, well, you know, protection against that, but anyway, for this next part, we want to obviously use, well, Muku Cookie if you have it, or Freshen Up would be prefer uh, as the second choice, so, uh, if you don't have these, so... Behold, one of the weirdest items in the game! If not the weirdest. Milko. I have no idea why that heals you. 
Anyway. Bam! Ow. Why do you not like Bowser, man? Go away! Oh, that was easy. Anyway. Actually, Mallow probably could have done it in the same number of turns, honestly, but... Smilax has been whacked! Bushwhacked! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, yeah? Queen Valentina, who's that? Where's Nimbus Land? What should you do? Run away! Uh, oh, hey, what's this? Well, anyway, he'll drop this note, which, uh... Well, you can take the seed or leave it. Right now, it doesn't really matter. You can just leave it for now if you don't have a lot of inventory space. I'll take it, even though I totally don't have much room for it. Uh, actually, I could give my bright card away now. I'm never going to go back there again. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know what else I might give up, but... Anyway, uh, since I don't want to have to come back here later, I'm just going to leave... I'm just going to take that now, so... And just bash this block, just like, you know, the good old days. And also like the good old days, holy cow! Magic Beanstalk! It is magical. Oh, and now that I think about it, there even is a giant up there, technically. So hit it again to, well, get up there, since, you know, Mario can't normally jump that high because, well, reasons. Uh, let's see, I'm going to recut the party real quick. Alrighty, I will only re-equip Gino with the Troopa pin for right now, because it gives him a speed that is equivalent to Mario, at least along with the work pants there. So, uh, you could use Mallow for this part, because he can totally take out, well, most of the enemies with his Thunderbolt, but... Mario, Bowser, and Gino can all one-shot everything around here anyway, and Mallow is actually slower than Mario, and Gino with the Attack Scarf and uh, Jinx Belt, respectively, even if you give Mallow the Troopa pin there. So, anyway, taking on these guys. Most of the time, you're just going to fight this, well, simple little matter here. These birdie guys, they're weak to ice, but who cares? They're weak as heck anyway. And the, well, the giant of the beanstalk <laughs> is weak to jump, so I don't care that it, how much HP he has, honestly. Alrighty. Sweet. Oh. How to climb the vines. They're presented from the bottom left to the top right. I don't even know how... How do I supposed to interpret that exactly? Yeah, you'll be able to disengage yourself from the vine, and that's the Nimbus Department of Transportation. Because they have such advanced transportation. Let's see. It's pretty easy to get from place to place, for the most part. Darn it, I'm gonna fall. Now, yeah, the Mallow can totally take these guys out, but note also that they have exactly 150 HP, and with the Troopa Pin, pin the Star Egg does exactly 150 points of damage, so let's dance! Hmm. Almost as strange as the, uh... Muko cookie there. I think there's actually a second dance that they can do, too. But, uh, or something, but anyway. Oh, I missed. I missed again! Dang! Alright, this area. Now, this guy here, oops, is stationary in part because when you defeat him, he transmogrifies into a block! Oh, I need to get that treasure there. I almost forgot about that. Got another flower. Oh, I made it. Cool. So you get some of that money there. Drat it. Didn't hit far enough over. Alright, so... Welcome to the hardest jump in the game. In order to make this jump, we need to grab the very bottom of that yellow vine there, and because we're jumping in that direction, we're also partially holding down, which means we're climbing down at the same time, so you kind of have to stop yourself at just the right time. 
like that. You'll barely catch it. There's no way I'm going for that frog coin. No way, man. Eesh. And, uh, let's see. Money. Jerk. Up. Hey! Give me that... Dang it. Give me that frog coin, even though I'm never, I'll never use it. Get out of the way! Move! You're blocking traffic. So, this... Well, this jump is actually possible from right here. It's just even more difficult than the last one. You'll... it really, really hard to just barely grab the bottom of it. But fortunately, we don't have to do that. And everybody who didn't know that block existed is kicking themselves right now. So anyway, this makes this jump enormously easier than it was before. <laughs> oh man! Huh, I didn't think it was gonna get me. But anyway, the reason we came this way is to get mostly these treasures here, a frog coin that I'm never gonna use, and the rare scarf. Oh wow, I was moving while I was... that was interesting. Uh, which, uh, raises your defense and magic defense by 15 points, which is, well, would be pretty good, except that the ghost metal is better by design. At least whenever, well, it's not canceled out, which, we'll talk more about that later, but anyway, I don't ever use those for anything, so, uh, anyway, going over here, flower, and flower, how many do I have now? <laughs> One short of max already, wow. Anyway. Howdy! Only royalty, huh? Uh, we have Princess Toadstool in the party, does that count? Oh. Yeah, we can't go back there. These guys are somehow putting up an invisible barrier, but, uh... Now I'm gonna go this way real quick. If you had gone the other way instead of the optional direction that I did, you would end up immediately... Why could I not jump backwards? It's like they wanted to force me to land on this guy or something. Huh. Weird. But anyway, you would, uh, well, you would have wound up right here. Uh, well, yeah, see? That's where I was. That was the difficult jump right there, and yeah, we're just right here, so really easy to get to. And I want that coin, even though it's only 10, but still something. 440, okay, cool. I need that money. So, anyway. hoo -ah! Oh, hey, is there a festival going on? What's up? Listen up! Shut up! Yeah, listen up, and so you can shut up. <laughs> or something. Was she talking to the guards or the people, I wonder, when she said that? Oh, no, not the king that we just now heard about! Oh, man, that's horrible. But Oh, the missing prince. Prince Mallow? Hey. Eh? Prince Mallow. Please, sir. Prince. Get over here! Oh, I should have done the scorpion get over here. Oh, well. Too late now. Moment's over. My little case of stage fright, huh? Excuse me. Princess. <laughs> ah. Tubby? Whoa. That's a heck of a prince you got there. Ah. Welcome back, Prince Mellow. <laughs> right. You know, not to spoil too much, but considering the history of Prince Mallow, the townsfolks aren't particularly happy to see- I don't seem particularly joyous to see him back. You know, if just a couple people say something and everyone else is just still standing there. Huh? What's going on now? Gracious goodness me! Dear me, oh my! What's that? Oh. Didn't somebody already call you Queen Valentina, though? I thought you already were a queen or something. What is your role in the castle, anyway? What is she like? I don't know. I'll, I mean, I'll speculate on it later, but... Still, what exactly is her role in the castle if she's not the queen already? So, uh, yeah. 
I mean, obviously she's not the queen, but... I mean, what is she, like, an advisor or something? I, I don't even know. They never say what exactly she did before. Can you believe it? Yeah, what a coincidence! And I'm sure it's nothing more than that. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, okay. Sure, sure, sure. Let's talk to the town's... Wow, why do you have red eyes? I don't remember seeing that before. Maybe it's the, the, uh... The ROM I'm using. I mean, it already has screwed up sound effects. Yeah, he's only dying, so he's a tad under the weather. What would very under the weather look like? My gosh! Something awful. Yeah, yeah, we're totally confident with that. I do believe that's him. Oh, really? Huh. Oh, never used to have him. Oh, really? Sup? Oh, I'm not barging in. Now I'm barging in! Oh. Dang it. Oh, well. Anyway. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, nothing but time on his hands. That's too bad. Well, we'll talk to him later, but, uh... Did I talk to you? Nope, <laughs> I didn't. So it must be him. Oh, she must be so trusted. Ah. Oh, right. And, uh, just to show you... No, it's not there yet. Anyway, hey, talk to me. Oh, yeah. Now just look at him! He's huge! Oh, he used to work at the castle, eh? The royal bus? Why would the king have a designated bus? You'd think he'd have, like, a carriage or something, or, I don't know, something like that. Or a limo. Oh. Wouldn't that be, like, against regulations to let some normal person go see, like, something that, well, transports the king? Oh, really? Statues and birds, eh? Oh. I see. What's up? Oh, Volcano, eh? Never heard of him, huh? Oh. Volcano. I'm sure that's not important. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Talk about an open door policy. I mean, not that every RPG doesn't already have an open door policy. Uh, sort of, but let's just say not yet for the heck of it. Oh, and apparently that's what heats up the hot springs, so... That must be a heck of a hot hot springs. Well, the fact that it's way up in the clouds, I don't know. Anyway. Were you here before? Ah. Oh. oh. He needs help. He's sick. I don't think he was there before. Oh. Nothing personal. Maybe it's the guards that you have down there. So anyway, to the item shop. But first, coming up... Uh, oh, that was weird. Yeah, coming up here, if I think we stand on this one and jump towards the shopkeeper. There we go. Hit, hey, hit it! Get a frog coin that I'll never use. Well, maybe. I sure do! Alright, we got a whole bunch of new stuff. Well, not items, but a whole bunch of new weapons and armor. Now, the Mega Glove here, while technically being 10 points stronger than the Masher, uh, it has, well, a normal uh, random number generator of just plus or minus 6, whereas the Masher has, what was it, plus or minus 30? So, the Masher, at its best, is technically stronger than this. But this is more consistent, and it's not like I really attack much anyway, so I'll just get it for the heck of it. Get see, get the... Oh, am I going to have enough money for this? Oh, dude. Let's see, get a war fan, hand cannon, and sticky glove, and I'm so out of money. Maybe I shouldn't have bought the Mega Love there. Oh, wow. And I'm actually going to be switching... Actually, am I? You know, actually, I might still have use for that uh, star egg. I'll think about that. But, and I never did show the ribbit stick, but oh well. 
It's not like I'm ever gonna, like, use physical attack with you anyway, but... I might show it off at some... Oh. Yes, I am still looking for stuff. And if I have to, I have something to sell anyway. So... Bye-bye, Masher. You served me well. Don't want to sell that. Let's see, I want to get... Well... I'll start with the fuzzy dress, since that's, like, the most important thing. I'll get a fuzzy shirt, fuzzy pants, and technically... Well, this is the same strength as... Uh, what is it? The happy shirt and happy pants from before. Oh, I forgot I even had, still had the sailor pants there. Not that I've actually ever used them, but... Uh, so you get rid of these, and so it's, you know, weaker than the work pan. I mean, it's defensively stronger, which I do want it for a, oh, do I have, yeah, for a later purpose. I've got my price and coins, not my coins mixed up there, but uh, I'm not actually going to use it for now. It's still, uh, the work pants are still perfectly viable for uh, Gino there for just a little while longer, and then Bowser gets jack squat because we already had something for him, so... Anyway. Sup! Welcome! Take a rest? 30 coins a night! Holy cow! Uh, let's see. Now I'm going to save state real quick. And sure, I'll take a break. Oh. No, I'm not going to take a break. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go sell something and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I sold all my red essences temporarily, not that I'm really ever going to use them anyway, but anyway, sure, I'll take a break! You want to use this dream cushion, there will be an additional 30 coins, so yeah, I'll try anything once. And for the most part, it's just for fun, it's just you get some fun little, well, dreams that we get to watch. It practically always does, oh no, not that one. But yeah, it's uh, there's several different dreams we can see. You can see various people, various other things from this, and I think the, sh the innkeeper actually will comment on something related to it afterwards, too. You hear laughter, you know it's a good dream. What, Mario was laughing? What, was he laughing at the Chancellor? So, yeah, for the most part, there's nothing, well, you can get from it other than fun stuff, but there is an item that you can get from the dream cushion thing here, that's totally not worth it. Oh. Yeah, that's entertaining. I honestly haven't seen every single one. At least I don't think I have, because I don't remember that Chancellor one before. I almost always get that Cook one right there, but, uh... Let's see if I can get the interesting one. That's odd. It smells like pepper in here! That is weird. Uh, what the heck kind of a dream? Oh, he's dreaming he's flying, is that it? Floating? Something? Weird. Ay, yeah, yeah, that's a sucky dream. Oh, he even belts on me! Or whatever he did. Look like you had nightmares! Yeah, that last one with the floating thing, he didn't say, he didn't comment about it at all, so... No, that's not it. That's just that kid. Okay, cool. Hyper kid. Oh, Yoshi! <coughs> Thanks, buddy! Oh, here it is, I think. Yeah, yeah! Mario. Huh? You're... Ah. Yeah, so Mario has a dream about Toad basically as the devil or something. <laughs> and then Toad suddenly shows up out of nowhere! Hey. And Mario is terrified! 
no! You freak me out, Toad! You've always freaked me out! Ah, uh, why the heck were you standing next to my bed watching me sleep, you weird monster, you? And he gives us a red essence! So, yeah, to make us feel better. And is this guy comment about it at all? <laughs> Understatement. But, uh, yeah, it's totally not worth 60 coins just to try to get a red essence. Although, if you really want to, you can, you know, obviously save before every time you use it. So, anyway, we'll, uh... Well, there's only one house left to visit. Garo the Sculptor, which we'll go to next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. And I'm getting all my money back. Arrivederci!